Stan Silverman, and this is Sylvan House Railway. And um, it's an indoor railway with mostly uh, G-scale equipment. The way it got started was my wife came back uh, from a shopping trip in 1992 and found a toy store that was going out of business. And uh, she said, boy, you really love this stuff. You want to go see it. And you're selling everything at 40% off. So I went there and I bought a uh, Spreewald engine and a couple of passenger cars and a couple pieces of LGB track. And then I came home and I said, what will I do with it? Because if you look out the window here, you'll see that we're on a huge acreage of wooded lot. And not only is it big, it's uh, really steep. It's probably about a 50% grade. So I couldn't figure out what to do with it outdoors. And so it kind of went stagnant until 1998. I was at a home show someplace in California and I saw an overhead railway and I thought, wow, that's great. Looked at the cost of the commercial stuff and it was just too expensive. So, uh, and the other problem was that it wouldn't allow me to make use of the, uh, the room that I had. Uh, so I designed my own uh, and built my own. It's all scratch built, uh, wooden structure that holds up everything. And um, each uh, tie on the structure matches a tie on the track, and there's about 4,000 ties. Um, and um, it took me um, several months to plan it. It was all planned, uh, designed on a computer uh, using a program called Vizio. And then uh, I started construction in probably December of 98 and built the first part of the overhead layout and then I uh, wasn't happy and I added some more overhead layout and then there was a tiny bit of room left and I added some more overhead layout and then there was still room around the walls so I added some layout around the walls and that also progressed from one track around the wall to two to three to four and, uh, and there we have it. I, uh, I've called the railway finished about ten times, but now I really think it is. I'm totally out of room at this time. What I did, rather than model a particular era or a particular type, is whatever appealed to me I got. So I've got trains in here at 129 scale and 120.3 uh, and 122.5. Uh, and I've got uh, two major classes, European Railways, and they're mostly overhead. In fact, they're all overhead. And then U.S. trains all run on the uh, wall layout. Most of the overhead stuff is Swiss. There is one German train, train the original Spreewald that I bought. Everything else is modeled after Swiss. Uh, uh, Alpine Classic Express and the Bernina Express and 